Oh, Graham, can you how, how do you hit a fade in a in a draw? What do you what do you change to hit those? Yeah, good question. Um, everyone kind of has their different ways. I'm not a technical or mechanical player, um, so for me, I mean the when it comes down to it, the actual science behind it, obviously, is you need to come. If I want to hit a cut, I got to come across the ball this way. When this ball, when the club hits it, that's what gets that spin going this way on the ball. And the same, and the opposite is true for the draw. You got to be attacking it from the inside of the ball. When your club hits the ball, that's what gets this spin going on it. Um, so different guys do different things. I try to keep it as simple as possible. Um, if I'm trying to hit a cut, is I'm. It's a lot easier shot for me, so this I'm going to demonstrate it because I could hit a draw and not hit a draw, so I always know it's going to cut. So I'll obviously be aiming further left because I want the ball here, and all I try to do is so if my normal path is here, I take the club outside when I'm hitting a cut, and then I follow that path down, follow that same path down this way and cut across the ball. That's what's going to get it moving that way. And then if I was going to hit a draw, the opposite's true. I would start the club inside and then attack from that same angle, get to here, and get the club. So, um, so basically, all I do, outside, and then kind of follow that path down. And I mean, you can really get it moving if you want. I'm sure you guys have seen a few of those too. But <laughs> And then, uh, I mean, I can try to really sling and draw here. This isn't my shot, so it's a little tougher for me, but that's my draw, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs>